Damn. Ooh. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy you done did it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Liam. I'm some coolest South African geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Star Girl, episode six, Summer School, chapter six. Really enjoying the season thus far. It was a slow burn at the beginning. They were showing us more of the teen stuff, less of the superhero stuff. But now it's a great balance of both. And I'm here for it. A lot of secrets getting unveiled because of uh, Eclipse, Eclipso, um, and his wielder, Sydney. I think her recruitment is almost done. She just needs to get the brother. I wonder how she plans on recruiting him. She gave up on Icicle Jr. who got his abilities also last episode. Damn, I wonder where it's gonna go this episode. I don't know nothing. Man, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Let's dive right into it. This is the sixth episode. I said that already, but fuck it. She got it wrong twice. Is that that awkward kid? It is him. The violin kid. Damn, he's bringing back her past. I know what. Are you? They know their secret identities. I thought they only knew Courtney's. Her parents going through the divorce. I thought they were both doctors. This seems like the most controlled divorce I've ever seen in my life. Very ambitious parents. Rick gonna pop up with a ride. God damn. Ooh, they separating and attacking them one by one. She knows exactly how that feels, losing her family. She needs to train or something. She's so weak. Does he know the whole truth? This dude lost his dad. He's our teacher. She's on a recruiting spree. It's his superhero moment. <laughs> Trying to find a loophole. Did they send somebody to get him? Oh, Sydney. Oh, shit. She pulled the bad man. She gonna pop up again, though. Look at her in the trip. They don't want him to join. Are they gonna take him as a hostage? Damn. His role in this was to be the bait. But to be honest, they didn't need bait. They were coming anyway. What is happening to him? Oh, it's him. Anybody can just walk into this place. Damn, dude learn quick. Ooh, Spots Master Junior. Oh, they about to fuck you up. Damn. Ooh, damn. Yo, he's getting his ass handed to him. Damn. Where's Court? Yo. They destroying it? A oh, goddamn. They had the dude in the hospital. She's blaming herself. Did they not have the budget for this robot this season? He hasn't had no action. He's so overpowered. Is this whole episode about them getting their ass handed to? Why are you leaving her for last? Because of the staff? Nah, ma. I don't think she can do this. Even hiding information from her. I mean, like, it's motivational hero talk, but... I don't think she can do it. <laughs> What's the shade? Damn, she's calling him? I knew she didn't believe that Courtney can handle it. <laughs> Damn. That's a cool way to appear. He only cares about the black diamond. Cause he's bad, not evil. Squad. 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 Ho ho. What is she gonna do in this fight? <laughs> what? Ooh. She's such a liability, man. <laughs> Yo. She's showing him a hologram of her parents. 
<laughs> At least you could shoot me to something. Ooh. That was a nice move. This couldn't be just her plan. One on one combat? Damn. Wildcat is moving real, real. They're really destroying the school, though. Oh, that's why she's here to save Mike. Damn, he's about to do something cool, isn't he? Is this thing about to act like a sauna or something? Ooh, that was a nice transition. Damn. Yo, they went all out for this action sequence. Damn. Ooh, the, the transitions from pose to pose? Yo, that's so cool. Never thought about that as a genius. <laughs> Yo. Damn. Ooh. Wow. This show is not holding back. This is a fight scene if I haven't seen any. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. They actually losing. Damn. Yo. Yo. Look at them taking the lead in this fight. Come on, don't lose it. Damn, without your violin, you can't say much. I feel like she's gonna use the diamond to turn the ties. Is that a callback to the toaster he touched earlier? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Teamwork, make the dream work. Squad. Squad. Damn. Ooh. What, about, what are they about to see? It's Shade. What a make a grand entrance, man. All dapper and shit with the top hat. Is she actually gonna hand it over? Damn! Woohoohoohoo! Y'all done fucked up now! <laughs> yo! Yo! The visual spectacle this is! Damn, she getting baited? Damn, is she gonna break the crisp, the diamond? Yo! Is she gonna release him? Yo, Courtney! Damn, if her father becomes the host of the party? That would be so messed up. Or it's just the whole town seeing what's happening. Can they see it too? In the hotel? I mean, hospital? It's an eclipse. Eclipse. Oh, she legit released them. Damn. Is still Sydney's body? Oh, it's not her body. He has a true form. Damn. The prosthetics look cool. Damn, this step he takes melts the floor. Look at him. He's getting used to his body and shit. Is she gonna die? Damn! Yo. They just gonna watch her get killed? Oh! Damn, the heat dies. Oh, she didn't die. Isaac did. Evil boy. <laughs> he is collecting souls. Damn. We like six episodes in. How many episodes this season? Oh, she hightailed out of there. <laughs> Smart. They legit just watched him kind of kill people and did nothing. Are you about to die, young girl? What is happening? Why are they just watching him do this? Damn, they legit built a whole teenage squad. They showed how bad the villain is by killing the teenage squad. Damn. Now you decide to do something though, Courtney? Dude murdered like two people in front of you. <laughs> Guys are outmatched. Damn. Did he just kill the shade too? Dude is like half Cree, half crypt, half Namek, the Piccolo's people. <laughs> he depowered the staff? Damn, did he just run out like a cat? What did she think she was gonna do chasing him? He lost, lost, lost. What a way to introduce the villain. This episode, he shined. <laughs> There's still something they have to show us in this episode? So the dude got away. Thought he was dead. Is he gonna release the original Dr. Midnight? Yo. Is there actually more to this episode? That would have been such a perfect ending, the moon shot. We don't know what happened to her. His world is the shadow realm. <laughs> I keep throwing this Yu-Gi-Oh reference each episode. Everybody's making this 
event all about him. They want to do great things though. This legit this episode feels so depressing now. Actually. <laughs> oh, she's ready to kill somebody else. We just gotta find him. There he is. He just turned to a little boy. That little boy in the first episode. That's so creepy. Look at him walking towards the moon. With this weird laugh. This was a weird reaction. <laughs> Sorry if it's all over the place, but I've been distracted like seven times while reacting to this. I'm gonna have to cut those sections out. <laughs> like the recording itself is over like an hour 30. <laughs> Personal stuff, but let's talk about the episode. Let's focus on the episode. Um, Eclipso, badass. Sydney was just a pawn. Still don't understand why. Courtney and then we legit watched this dude kill two people. <laughs> they decided to help towards the end. Like, were they that terrified? Maybe they should have given us reaction shots of them, you know, trying to get closer but being scared too. You know what I'm saying? It's a great episode though, showing how powerful the villain is by making that villain kill the other villains is <laughs> is such a power move I respect them for that makes the episode greater but it would have been dope ended with the whole clips disappearing fade to dark then it just had to give us more depressing scenes at the end of them wallowing in their defeat on some infinity wars type shit or beginning of end game I know different properties, but I'm a comic geek. I'm a reference Shadow Realms and Marvel with a DC show. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, that was my reaction. Hope you like, subscribe, deuces.